As of right now, at this very minute, there is a holy war going on on Twitter, as there usually is, but this one's different. This one is about reaction channels and how they're stealing content from other creators, basically just profiting off of other people's work. And the original creator of the work kind of just has to sit there and cope, seethe, and mauled as long as this other person is making money off of their content. There is two main people that are in this fight on Twitter right now, and that would happen to be XQC and Sniper Wolf. Both very big heavy hitters. It's kind of crazy to think that they are heavy hitters despite the fact that all they do is steal content. XQC being known for basically just being the, the literal bottom of the barrel, having less IQ than a jar of peanut butter, and Sniper Wolf being the, I said it louder so it's funnier, of YouTube. You see this big guy? He be eating all of the little guys. It's not a secret. I don't like React channels. I genuinely think that they're just content thieves here to mooch off of people. And most of the time, they don't even give credit to anyone when they do steal content. So genuinely don't think they're good for the platform or for YouTube as a whole, I think. Honestly, there should be a lot more rules about what we can and can't do on YouTube when it comes down to reacting like this because reaction channels need to be rebranded. For instance, I do not consider whatever XQC is doing here to be a reaction. This is dog shit. First, I wanna talk about Sniper Wolf because the cope that she is going through right now, it's hilarious. So Sniper Wolf, for those of you that have been living under a rock, is one of the biggest content creators on the platform. She has over 31 million subscribers, and she is known for her riveting takes and highly transformative content. It's a comb for brushing your pet, and then you just press a button, and it like ejects the fur. The brush is- And the entire reason that we are even talking about her is because YouTube decided that they wanted to promote her as their golden child. Why did they do this? Guessing it's because her content is above and beyond what they have expectations for. Now you might be asking yourself, well Void, what does she do? Well, I'll tell you and I'll show you. Sniper Wolf tends to just kind of fuck about in her videos. She doesn't really do anything, actually. She's in some beef with Jax films right now because of this fact. Mainly, she rips TikToks and says exactly what's happening within the TikToks. Like, word for word, bar for bar, she just steals exactly what's going on. Only in Russia. This dude got an entire bear. Arm. Now, the whole reason why Jax films was even mentioned was because he's the guy that started this whole talk about Sniper Wolf specifically. Now Jax Films, for those of you that don't know, he's a pretty big YouTuber. He's been on this platform basically since I was a kid, so. Now Jax Films has decided that he wanted to make fun of Sniper Wolf's content by creating an entire channel dedicated to reacting to her reactions and grading them. And you know Sniper Wolf is like fucking seething whenever he drops a video on that channel because she is not a good person. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but she's like gone to jail and shit over like domestic violence. Jax Films, the reason why he's pissed off at Sniper Wolf right now is because YouTube decided to do this. They promoted her on Twitter, calling her the dream YouTuber or the YouTuber of their dreams or some shit like that. And it's just like, really? That's the bar? That's, that's the bar here. You have Mr. Beast on the platform and that is the bar. Okay, whatever you say, YouTube. It sets a really bad precedent. And I don't think that YouTube promoting content thieves is gonna end up doing too well on on their platform because because if you guys didn't already know we've already had a controversy like this happen on youtube uh there was this there used to be this type of channel called react girls or something like that something along those lines that whenever something was uploaded that would be highly popular these girls would just stream themselves watching it and they would flood the page and this is basically what's happening here sniper wolf is doing the exact same fucking thing. Except she's doing it with TikToks and not really transforming them. Now Sniper Wolf is just blatantly ripping TikToks off of well, TikTok and not giving any credit to the creators, by the way, in any of her videos, which is why I think Jax Films came at her and I think why a lot of people are coming at her right now, uh, especially because YouTube decided to put that she gets her video ideas from her fans. It's as if they don't know their creators. They, they had her at some convention where she was like a head talker and all this crazy shit. I don't know why they invited her of all, but you got Mr. Beast 
Like, you have Jimmy. Why are you doing this? Now, Sniper Wolf is not the only person we're gonna talk about today, but I hate her. I, I genuinely dislike her as a content creator. She is abhorrent, and she does not deserve to have the platform that she does. Especially when there are people, like, actively trying to do the thing. Doing the YouTube. And she just sits there on her ass, repeating the same shit that's happening within the TikToks. And that leads us to XQC, who is also coping, seething, and molding at all at the same time shitting his pants extremely hard on Twitter at the moment because Mudahar, aka Some Ordinary Gamers, called him out for being a dipshit. Now, I probably do not have to introduce you to XQC. He is the $100 million deal guy from Kick. But basically all he does is throws big popular videos or movies or TV series on his stream and then like shits for five minutes and then like walks away. Due to a temporary shortage of staff. It was the end of our fall rush. If it hadn't existed a week or two weeks longer, or if we had not been using some of our regular boys putting down this- Sometimes he'll add some riveting um, commentary, if you can call it that. But he's basically in trouble because he recently has ripped off a pretty big video. He, he basically stole an entire video, like word for word, bar for bar, dropped the exact same video, except now it has XQC in the fucking corner. And no, if you're, if you're trying to tell yourself, but it should have given the video more exposure, it did not. Because the people who watched the XQC stream did not go and watch the other video. As a matter of fact, I believe the XQC stream has way, way fucking more views than the actual video itself. Which you can see how that could hurt the original creator of the video. Especially since the video that he stole, which was about the, I believe it was about the JFK assassination, was heavily, heavily researched and had a lot of time poured into it. I mean, shit, this was the first upload that this guy's had in a year, and XQC just basically stole it. Now, XQC is not reacting too well to this backlash, like, what so fucking ever, actually. Anytime anyone comes at him for it, he tries to make these intellectual takes that he can't because his IQ's just not there for it. Dude is actually running off of two brain cells. Like, there's nothing there. But YouTube isn't gonna do anything about it, and that's because they don't really give a shit. And this does kind of show a bigger problem with YouTube as a whole. I mean, in my opinion, it makes the grind for you YouTube lazy. Because if YouTube themselves is promoting what is basically the laziest content I have ever seen in my fucking life, then what kind of message is that sending to people who want to be YouTubers in the future or are already on the YouTube grind? It sends them the message to be lazy, cannibalistic, just react andies. And that's not good for the platform whatsoever. And that kind of pisses me off. Because like, if you're going to react to something like this, you need to give credit. You need to give some sort of shout out. You need to not pro like split profit or some shit like that. You cannot just straight up rip off a video. We've had this controversy many times on YouTube with Jinx, with the React Girl thing, with now XQC and Sniper Wolf. Like this has always happened. Now the worst part about this is new channels are going to see this. Like newer YouTubers coming onto the scene are gonna see this and they're gonna take the easy way. So we, we're we gonna get flooded with React Andes way more than usual. Now these two are not the only perpetrators of this crime. Almost every other Twitch streamer and their mother is doing the exact same fucking thing. That's a whole other bag of worms in itself that they they need to get a hold of that problem fast because it's gonna bite everyone in the ass. But like there's also a difference because you can be a good react channel. You can. That is a possibility. Uh, for instance, think Moist Critical. Everyone knows him, everyone loves him. He's a react channel. But he adds good fucking commentary. He actually takes and changes the content. Honestly, some of the videos and some of the topics that he'd be talking about would be fucking boring. He knows how to turn a 30 minute video on how to manufacture toilets or like fucking trash can collecting into something meaningful and kind of funny. These people do not know how to fucking do that. They will just walk off screen and they make millions off of this like they're not poor little saps fucking sniper wolf is a millionaire she's got a mansion xqc clearly not broke a hundred million dollar deal off of kick there has to be some sort of boundary like you can't sit there and repeat everything over and over again now this is kind of youtube's fault i mean sniper wolf and xqc would probably not have the positions they have if this content was not pushed they are doing the complete metagaming strategy and they are doing it in the worst laziest way possible these people will actively go out of their way to never make a actual take in their life they will be lazy till the end and that's just kind of how it's gonna be and there's nothing Thing we can do about it. You can't even convince Sniper Wolf's fucking audience to stop watching her because they're all kids. This is her comment section. It's pretty bad, right? And YouTube really doesn't give a shit. That's cool. 
Thanks, YouTube. I just think it's bullshit that you, this is YouTube's golden child when she literally does nothing for the platform and is actually probably making it a worse place. So the fact that they are inviting her out of all people. Like, they have millions of creators they could have promoted. You have Mr. Beast. I don't know how many times I gotta say this in this video, but you have Mr. Beast, the biggest man on the platform. How is this not your dream content creator? He has brought you more money within one video than anyone on the platform could have. Sniper Wolf does not deserve the position that she is in. Neither does XQC. They really do not work for it. If you guys like the video, please go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Do all the things YouTubers tell you to do because that allows me to make better videos for you guys. And go ahead and leave a comment down below. Just, just to do it. I'll put LSD in your water. In Minecraft, of course. I, yeah, in Minecraft. YouTube don't come after me for that. And then I'll read you spooky bedtime stories. I'll read you goosebumps. How about that? Also, I've got memberships up. So if you want to support the channel, it's only $5 a month. You get exclusive access to a badge and some emotes that I'm currently working on. I don't really have a big community, so I don't really know if any memes or anything that would be in the community. But you can become a silly goose for only $5. When you become a silly goose, you get shoutouts at the end of my videos, and you'll probably get special streams, shorts, stuff like that. I'm, I'm in the works. It's, it's still a work in progress. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Members are gonna get some wacky shit. And I promise you, I will try my hardest to make it worth it for you guys. If not, any normal support helps just anything at all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys stick around for my next one. And hey, if you haven't already, go check out my last one. I thought it was pretty good. So.